Ladies and gentlemen, geeks and nerds, welcome back to another episode of Road to Hermitcraft. And I'm busy gathering up resources for today's build. And today is a very special day. It's the 18th of July and it's the day that 1.13 should come out. So it's currently the morning, it's not out yet. Uh, but my plan for this episode is to first of all gather a whole bunch of resources and then upgrade to 1.13 and then get building with our first farm for 1.13. A farm that I've been waiting to build for a long time. So let me gather up some more resources and once 1.13 drops a bit later on today, let's uh, yeah get upgrading. It's here, it's been released. 1.13 is out. Yeah, I've just finished up work and thought I'd come into this world and I've just finished off the resource uh, resource gathering and check Twitter and yeah, it's out, it's released. So we need to do the upgrade. <laughs> so before we do that, yeah, let me just quickly show you, got a whole bunch of resources here for today. Got a bunch of wood and stuff here. Got a whole bunch of yellow glass. We've got a whole bunch of yellow concrete here. Something like, something like 10,000 blocks, I think, roughly for this uh, this project but uh, there's one more resource we need to get but we can't get that until we've upgraded to 1.13 so i'm gonna take a backup of this world keep it safe in a vault <laughs> just in case and then uh, i'm gonna download 1.13 and get this world upgraded and then we can see what's what all right i'll see you in a bit so here we have it this is 1.13 we did it we've upgraded there you go 1.13 um yeah so so far so good um yeah i've had a quick sort of fly around the world and uh yeah it's all loaded up and is good it's playable stuff like that i think uh, it seems a little bit uh, unfinished um there was especially in new chunks when i fly around uh it seems to take a bit of time to catch up and render chunks and stuff so i think yeah there's still a bit of polish to be added but uh yeah I think it's all good apart from that uh, at the moment there's a few other things like uh, what's going on with this sign <laughs> what are those dudes doing there <laughs> who knows um, and uh, yeah this was a customized world which doesn't open uh, by default in 1.13 uh, but I made a video and a tool about uh, how to upgrade it so if you've got something similar if you've got a similar uh, customized world I'll stick a link on the screen and in the description about how to go about that uh, rather than uh, going over it again here right now so anyway we're in 1.13, we're ready to go. And we wanna get cracking with building our very first farm in 1.13. And what we need for that is one thing, one more thing, I said, mentioned it earlier, and we need to go looking for it. So we're on the lookout for some turtles. Here we go, I found one, found our first turtle. Right, so what we need to do is we need to find, we need to secure this one and we need to get some seagrass. So seagrass we can use uh, to breed them and also we can, uh, they'll follow us if we've got some seagrass in our hand. So let's go down here. Let's get some seagrass, it's a little bit murky, but I think yeah, it's gonna improve as we, uh, as we swim. So let's get some of this stuff. There we go, get some of this. First bit of seagrass, 1.13. Woohoo! Look at all this stuff floating in the sea. <laughs> I'm, already I'm already making a mess. <laughs> okay, he's following us, it's working. And we are aiming for this beach right here. No, this way. Where are you going? Come back here. Okay, we're almost there, I think. Yeah, there it is, almost there. Oh, there's some drowned. There's a drowned after me. Come on, turtle, quick. This way. Ah, dude. Get out of my face. I'm trying to rescue this turtle. And take this. And take another one. Ah, got you. Right, turtle, guy, come on, let's go. Yeah, it looks like if I put the seagrass on my offhand, it doesn't follow me. Now, normally with mobs, you can do that. You can put like, if I was to put wheat in my offhand, it should like the, uh, you know, cows and stuff follow you. So that's a bit odd. Right, there's our beach. Come on, guy, let's go. Hi, guy. <laughs> right, we need to trap you here somehow. Otherwise you're gonna swim off, aren't you? No, don't swim off, no. 
Don't swim off. Stay here. Right, let's block him in. Don't escape. No, 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 no. Stay there. That's, this is your new home. Okay. Got him. <laughs> All right. That's one. We need to get another one. Right, what I'll do is let me see if I can find another one and I'll make this area a bit easier to deal with. And uh, yeah, then we'll take it from there. Hi. So I was just flying around looking for one more uh, turtle to add to the one we've already got. Um, I'll put him in a nice little pen and stuff over at the other, there's another island just over there. And then I saw these four just chilling on the beach. So I've just flattened this area a bit and uh, yeah, we've got four now, <laughs> which is good stuff. So now I need to try and uh, contain them in here. So what we might do is why don't we breed them first? So let's see if we can do this. So we've got the seagrass. Let's see if this works. And then this, this one and this one. Oh, look at it, laying an egg. Here we go. Should have a couple laying eggs, hopefully. Right, let's get the let's get some fences out. Don't want them escaping. Don't escape. Don't escape. Stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here. No, 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 no. Right, where are the eggs? There's an egg. We got an egg, yes. We got an egg, awesome. All right, I'm not sure what happened to the other one. Maybe I might have stepped on it. Maybe I broke it, I'm not sure. Now, can I, so this is my silk touch. Yeah, this is my silk touch. Can I grab this one? We got one, we got one turtle egg. Now, I'm not sure, did that turtle break the other? Did that, what happened there? Did I get that? I think I just got that. All right. All right, I'm going to breed these up because I need some more eggs. One is not enough. All right, let me breed these up and I'll bring you back. All right, so I've expanded out this area to make it a bit more comfortable for our turtles. And uh, yeah, I'm after 12 eggs actually, and I've got eight so far. And look, this guy, this guy right here has just laid these four. Now I think what happens here is, what I've seen is whenever you uh, mine this now with the silk touch, you get one egg for each of the eggs that are here. So let's see. There we go, there's one, two. Oh, don't step on them. They're quite fragile. Three, and last one, four. Awesome, there's the 12 eggs we want. And also, guess what? We've got four turtles. So let's name them, shall we? How about Raphael? And this one can be Donatello. And this one, Michelangelo. You know what's coming next, don't you? I can't use it. There it is. Leonardo. Yay. We've got the four Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. <laughs> oh, brilliant. All right. So we've got the eggs we need. So that's good stuff. And I'll leave these guys here. And if we need some more, we can come back and uh, and get them. All right. So let's go off. And uh, yeah, let's build this farm. Here we are on the roof of the Nether, ready to build our farm, which is of course a gold farm. Um, I'm not quite sure why I try and add, add some mystery to the episode because it's probably in the thumbnail and the title. So yeah, I'm sure you know already, but uh, yeah, we're gonna build a gold farm today and we're gonna use these things, these turtle eggs. So this is gonna be my turtle powered gold farm. Um, I did a video on this when the first snapshot released with turtle eggs in it. Uh, it's been pretty popular. Uh, so we're gonna build that farm here today. It's gonna be a bit souped up from that original uh, tutorial. So I'll go over some of the details that tutorial and let's just recap some of them now because this is new stuff and you might not have seen it so yeah all right so this is a turtle egg and you've already seen that we can get that by breeding some turtles with seagrass and once they lay their eggs we use a silk touch pick, silk touch pick to pick them up that's all good and then you can place them down on any block now the important thing is first of all is don't place these on sand blocks because if these are placed on a sand block they will hatch uh, but if they're on any other block or no block at all you can place them down and then mine this block underneath it so there's, it's on air on an air block uh, then it won't hatch at all it'll just stay there forever so that is cool that's what we want uh, so what's going to happen with this farm is we're going to have this turtle egg and pigmen are going to spawn on a platform like this and they are going to be attracted to this egg because they want to smash it up they're not very nice are they <laughs> so they're going to spawn on this pad they're going to see that egg they're going to walk towards it and when they get to here we're going to have these two trapdoors pigmen are going to fall through this hole because they think they can walk across it but they can't they'll fall down this hole they'll fall all the way down from the top land on some hoppers and drop their gold and then we will collect it 
So that's the basics of the farm. Now, a couple of gotchas you need to be aware of is first of all, above the turtle egg, you need to have two blocks of air. So this red block here, that's gotta be an air block. Otherwise they won't even, they won't be attracted to it. So if you ever make this yourself, make sure you don't, make sure you have two air blocks above. That's the first thing. And also trap doors. You must use oak trap doors. Uh, you can also use uh, iron trap doors, but yeah, don't use the new um, the new trap doors like the uh, spruce or jungle or anything like that because w pigmen when they walk across here they don't see it uh, as a way to walk so they, they walk up to like here then they stop so that's a little bit of a gotcha so make sure you use the oak trap doors uh, otherwise your pigmen will never fall down because they're for some reason they're smart when it comes to that but when it comes to oak doors uh, oak trap doors uh, they're pretty dumb here we are on top of the world. <laughs> yeah, this is the very top of the world. We're at build limit at the moment. So this block we're looking at is at 255, which is as high as you can build. And yeah, I just made a start, a very quick start, just kind of making sure I get the platforms and bits and pieces in the right position. So I've double checked all this stuff. Um, I've already sort of designed this up in creative, so I know where things should go. Yeah, so here we're at the top of the world. We're gonna have some bits up here, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, this platform is the most important one, I guess, because this is where we're mostly going to be standing and we're going to be surrounded by chests over here. So we're going to have, this is where the gold is going to come. And while we're standing here, if we look down, there is, you can see a glass, uh, a glass roof there and underneath it, if you could just make it out, I can't zoom in. <laughs> I don't know if to find, I wish I could zoom, but there are three uh, layers of uh, concrete underneath and each of those three layers are going to be the spawning pads. And then right down there, you can see where those pigmen are spawned. That is where the hoppers are going to be. And that's where the pigmen are going to fall. So we're going to have a hole in the middle. They're going to be attracted to the egg, as we've said. And they're going to walk over here, fall down the hole in the middle, right down to where that concrete is. They're going to land on some hoppers. Uh, and down there, we're going to have uh, an item sorter. So it's going to sort out the rotten flesh from the, the gold ingots or the gold uh, nuggets, should I say. And then there's an item elevator in the middle that's going to send up the gold all the way up to here. And then it's going to come down in some hoppers and whatnot. A little bit of redstone up here, which we'll get onto later, into the chests up here. So we can just stand here collecting gold. And then as we're here, we can craft up the stuff we need from our supply. I've been busy. <laughs> so I've built up, I've built up the three uh, platforms, the three spawning platforms for the pigmen. And on top, we've got this glass layer here. And each of these platforms is 49 by 49. And in the center, we have this hole, which is a seven by seven hole. And uh, yeah, this bit in the middle, this is gonna have our item elevator, this sort of cross here, you see. And on the top of these dirt blocks, we're gonna have our turtle eggs. And so the pigmen will see them. They run over here to try and smash them up. They won't be able to, and they'll fall down and land on those hoppers. So I'll show you that in a second. And yeah, one quick pro tip, if you're gonna build something like this, then definitely start from the top layer and work your way down. Start with the glass layer. Um, the glass layer is here to stop um, to stop gas spawning. And yeah, if you build it from the bottom up, you might get gas spawning as you're building, which makes the life more difficult. So definitely start from the top. And uh, yeah, so let's go and have a look down at the rest of it. So here, here are the layers you can see. Look at that, plenty of pigment in there, ready for us. And then if we go down here, this is where they are going to, well, this is where they're going to, if I could fly, there we go. They'll kind of land on these hoppers right here. And as they land, they're going to die straight away. Uh, yeah, the fall from the bottom layer down to here is 24 blocks, so they'll die immediately. Um, and we have, yeah, we have this uh, array of hoppers for them to collect all of their drops. And on each side, each of the four sides, there's one hopper pointing downwards and all the other hoppers will funnel into one of those four. Um, this is really to keep up with the rates <laughs> as I found, as I was testing. Uh, so if we look underneath, here's all the hoppers and you can see we've got this one here that points downwards. I've got one of those on each side. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna have some item filters underneath here that's going to uh, separate the, uh, the gold from the rotten flesh. Um, and as these are not player kills, we don't get anything like swords, which uh, makes this much easier. So we're going to end up with all of the gold going into this uh, dropper, and that's going to shoot them up through the item elevator to the top. And all of the rotten flesh we're going to destroy. So that's the next thing. So I'm going to build this up next. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens next. But yeah, let me get this done, and uh, I'll bring you back in a sec. Look at this monstrosity. <laughs> We've gone hopper crazy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it looks more complicated than it actually is. It's pretty straightforward, really. Um, so here's a hopper that points downwards. So we've got one of those on each each of the four sides and this goes down into a standard uh, item filter. And here we're just filtering out the rotten flesh. 
So the rotor flesh will go down here and across into this dropper, which is facing downwards. We've got one in there already. And everything else, which is just going to be the gold nuggets, is going to go this way into this dropper, which is facing upwards. And that's it really. So we just duplicated that all the way around on each all four sides. And we're going to have some lava in here. So when items get spat out of here, they're going to drop into lava, which we'll do in a sec. And how that happens is around here, we've got a slight variation, is we're going to have this observer clock uh, that's going to pulse. If I move this piston along, it's going to pulse this block right here, which is going to power both droppers at the same time. So if I was to flick this on, Got some clicking. There goes the rotor flesh. So that's going to go into the uh, into the lava. And if we go up, hopefully we should see some gold nuggets. Oh, I've gone too much. Gone too far. Come back down. Come back down. Hopefully here. There we go. You can see them. I just grabbed them. <laughs> so they were there at the top of there. So yeah, the next job then is to extend this item elevator all the way up to the top, and then we can get going with the uh, turtle legs. And with a quick video edit, we're right back here where I left you, uh, but some work has been done. So I've tied up this place, got rid of all the dirt, got the lava in, and I've got the item elevator going all the way up to the top with some chests, but we've got an issue that I need to show you. And that is, let's get some, so I've got some dirt in here just for testing, and I'm going to flip this lever. So that's going up. So let's shoot up ourselves, see if we can get up there before all the items come along. Here we go. Land on here, logic. Oh. Nice one. Right, so this is a standard item elevator where we have a dropper, uh, a hopper on, on the top with an air block above it, and the item should come into this hopper and go along here. But look what happens. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. So some items come through, but a lot of them get stuck underneath, and that's because the hoppers are no longer a full block. And so if you use this technique, uh, it's not going to work. 1.13. Uh, yeah, hoppers are no longer a full block. So they get stuck underneath. Now, if you're in the overworld with water, that's no problem, because instead of this being here, you just add a water source here to push the items this way into some hoppers. So that's all good. But obviously in the nether, there is no water. <laughs> So we need to find a way to get items into these hoppers. All right, I've just added a stack of dirt to the item elevator and it's on its way up now. So let's see if we can land in time. I've emptied out the chests as well. So hopefully we'll land here and you'll see my big idea is a slab. <laughs> so if you look now, the slab uh, forces the, uh, the blocks to come this way and a little bit of ice just to make sure that any momentum is carried forward and they kind of slide into these hoppers. Now, most of the time the items all make it in so we'll see what happens here. They were coming in. Is that all of it? It looks a little bit glitchy. It looks a little bit glitchy, but I put a stack in, a stack of dirt. So they've got 32 here and we've got 32 here. So for some reason it somehow gets into the second hopper. So I think it probably, I'm not sure, might glitch maybe through here. I'm not really sure uh, why that happens, but yeah, it does. So, but the good thing is we get all of it in our chests, which is what we want. So there's one tiny gotcha with this thing though. And I'm quite happy how simple this is, uh, but sometimes what can happen is if they don't have quite enough momentum because there's some randomness to how they shoot out here, sometimes they get stuck on this ice here. So all we need to do now is the last thing is if I add a piston, a sticky piston here and add a clock to it, it can periodically push the slab this way. And so that will catch anything that's stuck here and push it into the hopper. And if we do that, then yeah, we get all the items. Um, we do lose the odd one or two if an item is coming up as the pistons push in, but I think the odd one or two nuggets uh, is, is not too bad. So yeah, that's the next thing. I'm just gonna add a clock over here, pretty simple, and get this push in every now and again. And that should have uh, completed our item elevator collection system and disposal of rotten flesh. So then the last thing then is just to finish off with the, um, the trap doors around the holes there and the turtle eggs. And then we're done. All right, let's get this in and uh, yeah, give it a try. And here we go. Here is the clock all in and it pushes the piston just like that. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah, so any items uh, that get stuck here, which happens now and again, um, the piston will push and the slab will just push them into this, uh, into this first hopper. So that fixes that problem. So we're all good now with the item elevator and collection, stuff like that. And this is what the clock looks like. This is the same clock we used in our uh, witch farm. Um, so it's just a whole bunch of repeaters that go around in this circle, all on max delay. Uh, comparator there with a on off switch in front of it. And you just have to turn that into subtraction mode. And when it gets around to here, we have this thing, which I think is called mono stable circuit, maybe. 
Falling Edge, Rising Edge, who knows? One of those things. <laughs> but just make sure we get a short pulse here so this uh, this piston doesn't stay extended for too long. It's just a quick, you know, whoosh, whoosh, backwards and forwards. That's it. That's all we need. So that should be good. So this is all done and we'll leave that clock running. Uh, and now what we'll do is let's go down here. The moment of truth is we can start adding the turtle eggs and some uh, trapdoors. So this is the moment of truth. <laughs> all these pigmen are here. And what I've done here is I've added all of the trapdoors. So all the way around here and all the way around on this side. So pigmen think they can walk all the way across to these dirt blocks. And once I place an egg down here, we should see some action. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this top floor to start with. Um, I already made a bit of a start down there, but what I'm going to do is once we just make sure this is all working and we've got items coming up, uh, I'll do the rest. So we're going to do the same for the middle floor with the the uh, trapdoors like this around here and what we're also going to do is for these bottom floors is we're going to add trapdoors all the way up the side so it's like a big case all the way up just because we don't want pigmen coming over here falling off the side and landing on these eggs down here so we can have trapdoors all the way up um, and that's all good pigmen will still be able to see it all right so let's give it a try shall we let's see if this actually works all right let's uh, get ready for this here we go ready go go for it here they come Sprinting at top speed. <laughs> here they go, they fall down here. And we should see some gold coming up, hopefully. A bit laggy. Oh, let's move back a bit. Can we see some there's some uh, there's some gold ingots coming up? Check it out. We got gold. We've got the gold. <laughs> it's working. Oh yeah, check it out. See you later, pigman. There's a baby. Go on, off you go. See you later. Bye. Ah, see, look, see how they landed there? That's why we need, there you go. That's why we need to have the trap doors that go all the way up. And that's just with one egg here. Right, let's go and check out the chests above and then I'll get all this finished off and then we'll give it a good old view and a proper test. So just the bottom floor to go. I've added all of these trap doors all the way up so you can see what this looks like. And you can see we've got our turtle eggs just in there. I don't want to open this just in case a the pigment falls on it and and you know it goes ham but yeah you can see up there those two floors you can see there through there all our um our turtle eggs and now the last thing to do now is just to place these last few so you just place the egg down here break the block underneath and let them go <laughs> off they go and there'll probably be a bit of a leg spike because they all fall down together oh there they go <laughs> there's a few dirt blocks oh, ah it's leg leg city wow <laughs> let's move back here oh geez all right so yeah, that's what I've been doing. So you have to get, I have to make sure you get rid of the dirt block here just to make sure there's two air blocks um, for them to trample. Uh, but yeah, this is working great. And I can see just through there, for that middle trap door, we can see some gold coming up. There we go, there's a few bits. So yeah, it's all working great. So I'm gonna get these last three eggs in and then we're gonna have a proper look at this thing and I'm gonna introduce you to a friend of mine. Check this out. Look at all these pigmen. Oh, this is working brilliantly. Miles better than I expected, actually. <laughs> Look at all this gold coming up. Just a constant stream of gold nuggets. Oh, brilliant. Look at all, they just keep spawning, keep falling. Look, just constantly. Brilliant. All right, so this is working brilliantly. Fantastic. And we've got chest upon chest of cold nuggets. This is working brilliantly. Oh, absolutely brilliant. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna give you a good old look, but the problem is if I fly down there to kind of show you all working, then they, I get too close to the pigmen and they despawn. And of course, normally I'll do that with replay mod, stuff like that, but we don't have it. So I'm in a bit of a pickle when it comes to recording. So I've asked a friend to come and join me and help me out. Um, someone that you've not met before, but is a new member of the Road to, Road to Hermit Craft uh, series. So I'd like to introduce you to my very good friend, Logical Geek Bot. Hi, how's it going? Oh, that's great to hear. Are you enjoying the series? Oh, great, fantastic. All right, so I need you to help me out. Are you uh, able to do that? Oh, what are you doing? Dude, don't break my chests. Okay, anyway, let's forget that happened. I'm sure that was just a minor malfunction, right? Okay, awesome. Right, so you stay here and I'm gonna get into spectator mode and fly down and have a look at this farm. Is that cool? Okay, awesome. <laughs> 
Okay, let's leave Logical Geekbot to uh, hold the fort here for us. So uh, yeah, I'm still working out how to use uh, how to use him properly to do some recording. Um, we'll probably we'll probably do is we'll probably use him as the camera account uh, in future once I've got everything set up properly but for the time being he's going to just stand there for me and uh, make sure the mobs are loading while I'm in spectator mode so here we go let's go right from the very top so we can see items coming up saw a few there got stuck and then the uh, piston pushed them across so let's go down and have a good old look at this so look at these pigmen they're just constantly spawning and as soon as they do they just run to the center look at this and if we go down here just look at them just a raining pigmen oh geez look at it <laughs> Now I've discovered if I go too close to it, it does get quite laggy. So I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay away from it. But yeah, look at this. It's like raining pigmen. Oh, wow. Oh, you get too close. There you go. See, there's the lag. So I'm going to step back a bit, step back. There we go. And just see them falling in to their doom. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There we go. Look at this. Just look at them. A sea of pigmen just constantly going. <laughs> and all we need there is yeah, just those couple of uh, couple of turtle eggs and these platforms. Now, of course, I've made this far more complicated than it needs to be. If you want to make this super simple, you could just have an AFK spot up there, just have one platform, have one uh, uh, egg in the middle, and then just let them fall down on some hoppers and just have a few chests at the bottom, make it super, super simple. Obviously, I've taken it a little bit further than that, but yeah, it's not too bad. So it's great. So we could just stand up here and all of the gold comes to us already pre-filtered. Pre here it is, just the gold coming up. And then yeah, we get a few things that pop out, but I'm not too worried. You know, just the odd the, the odd nugget here and there. It's not not a problem. But just look, constant flow of nuggets coming up. Oh, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant. And that is about it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, then please leave a like. And uh, if you're new, then feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments or suggestions or feedback or anything at all, then get it in that comment section. So from me and Logical Geek Bot, <laughs> I will see you later.